Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Rashmi and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little bunny rabbit. For this tutorial, I will be using this baby snuggle yarn, which I will be working with a 5mm crochet hook. We are also going to need double knit yarn in pink and black for the final details. We're going to start off with the bunny's head and for this, take your yarn and work a slip knot. Let's put our crochet inside this and chain two to begin. Here's my first chain and here's my second. For round one, you're going to skip the first chain and work six single crochets in your second chain from the hook. Slip your crochet in there, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on our crochet. Yarn over, pull through both in one go. That's my first single crochet off this round. I'm going to go back into that same chain stitch and work five more. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this end to eliminate the gap between the stitches. So let's do that. There we go. Now we're going to slip our crochet in our first single crochet of our previous round. Yarn over, pull up a loop from there. We're going to yarn over, pull through both to work our first single crochet off round two. We're going to go back into that very same stitch and work another single crochet. So two single crochets in the same stitch. When we work two single crochets in the same stitch, it's called an increase. So from here, we're going to work an increase in every single one of these stitches all the way around. Here's my second stitch done. And my last one. So working two single crochets in there as well. There we go. You should have a total of 12 stitches at this point. To start the next round, we're going to work a single crochet in the next stitch. And from here on, I'm going to start using a stitch marker. If you don't have a stitch marker, you certainly can use a hairpin, paper clip, or even a scrap bit of yarn as well. So that's my first single crochet of this round. I'm going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the very next stitch. Follow this on with a single crochet and then an increase, single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. Going to take our stitch marker off and start the next round with two single crochets in a row. So that's my first and here's my second. I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker back in place to identify the start of this round. And after those two single crochets, we're going to work an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. Just like this, you're going to repeat one single crochet, one single crochet and increase and then repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. Now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. Let's work our first one and place our stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with two more to make the total three. Our second, and here's my third one. We're going to follow this on with an increase and repeat this all the way around. So three single crochets followed on with an increase, three single crochets and increase. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch over and let me put my stitch marker back in place. Now we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat that twice to have two rounds of just single crochets. At the end of two rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 30. We're now going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row. So that's my second third and fourth and we're going to follow this on with an increase so two single crochets in the next stitch over just like this follow this repeat four single crochets and increase to complete this round at the end of this round you should have a total of 36 stitches we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And we're going to repeat that twice to have two rounds of just single crochets. 
at the end of two rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 36. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's place our stitch marker back in place. I'm going to follow this on with four more single crochets. That's my second, third, fourth and here's my fifth one. Once you have your five single crochets in a row you're going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. Just like this go ahead and finish this round with five single crochets followed by an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round you should have a total of 42 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. I'm going to put my stitch marker back in place and follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. At the end of this round you should still have a total of 42 stitches. Now before we carry on with the rest of the rounds, we're going to take a moment and insert the plastic eyes into this bunny's head. Now the size I'm using today is 12mm and these eyes come with the plastic backing so once it goes on it doesn't really come off so be aware, aware of that before you put this on. Now to do this you're going to make sure the stitch that you've finished this round with is at the back and fold this over so the other side is facing you. Now from here we're going to insert these eyes in round 10. So let's go ahead and count. Here's round 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here's my round 10. So I'm going to insert the eyes between round 10. So making sure that the stitch you finish with is still at the back. Let's count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so that's the center because the stitch finishes here. I'm going to count three stitches over this side and three stitches over this side. So one, two, three, and I'll insert the eye in the third stitch over. And from here, one, two, three, and I will insert the eye on this side as well, in the third stitch over. Now, what I would suggest for you to do is take some black yarn. I've cut this into two equal pieces. Before you put the backing on, I am going to make a knot with this black yarn like this and I'm going to put this around the eye before you put the backing on because this allows you to secure this black thread in place and later we can actually make eyelashes with this. So you can take the eye off and tie this yarn around it like so. And making sure that these go on the side and stick it back into that same stitch and now once that is done for me I can go ahead and put the backing on there's my first one done going to do the same to the other side so create a knot and either go around the eye just like that or you can take it out and Put this knot around it, tighten this and put it back into that same stitch, making sure that the threads, the knot is obviously concealed underneath and the threads are on one side like this. Back into that same stitch it goes and I'm going to put the backing back on. We'll be using these black threads later on to make the eyelashes for this bunny. Now we're going to start the next round. For this you're going to, let's take our stitch marker off first, work five single crochets in a row. So that's my first one, second, and you put my stitch marker back in place, third, fourth, and here's my fifth one. After this we're going to follow this on with a decrease. To do this, you're going to stick your crochet in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. We're going to do the same with the stitch after that. So stick your crochet in, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now we should have three loops on our crochet. Going to yarn over and pull through all three in one go. This allows you to reduce the number of stitches and in relation it will reduce the size of this particular head. So from here you're going to work five single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease, five single crochets, a decrease all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 36. We're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch over. 
and let's put our stitch marker back in place and follow this on with three more to make the total count four that's one two three and we're going to follow this on with a decrease so again to show you put your crochet in the next stitch pull up a loop go straight into the stitch after that and pull up a loop three loops on your crochet yarn over and pull through all three in one go to complete your decrease just like this follow this on with four single crochets a decrease four single crochets a decrease at the end of this round your stitch count should be 30 stitches I'm going to take the stitch marker off and work three single crochets in a row now a second and a third let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and follow these three single crochets on with a decrease so pull up a loop from two of these stitches three loops on our crochet yarn over pull through all three follow this on with three single crochets a decrease three single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 24 stitches we're now going to work two single crochets to start the next round that's one and two follow this on with a decrease again we're going to pull up a loop from two stitches yarn over and pull through all three loops on your crochet now just like this you're going to follow this on with two single crochets a decrease two single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 18 stitches now this brings us to the end of the head of this bunny we are going to start working on the body and we are not going to change the yarn or cut this off or anything we're going to continue from here on so we're going to start the first round of the body with a single crochet here and let's place the stitch marker back in place we're going to follow this single crochet with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat it twice to have two rounds of just single crochet at the end of two rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 18. we're now going to work two single crochets in the next two stitches so one in each stitch follow this on with an increase we're going to work two single crochets in the same stitch like this we're going to repeat this and complete the whole round with two single crochets and increase two single crochets and increase at the end of this round you should have a total of 24 stitches now going to start the next round with a single crochet let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat it twice to have two rounds of single crochet at the end of this round your stitch count should still be 24. before you start the next round go ahead and fill the head up with some fiber fill i've already gone ahead and done that and once you've done this going to start the next round and for this you're going to work three single crochets in a row so that's my first second and third followed on with an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch and just like this we're going to complete the whole round with three single crochets and increase three single crochets and increase all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 30 going to take our stitch marker off and start the next round with a single crochet in our next stitch and I'm going to go ahead and put the stitch marker back in place we're now going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches and we're going to repeat it twice to have two rounds of single crochet at the end of this round your stitch count should still be 30 we're now going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row so that's my first one I'm going to put my stitch marker back in place Here's my second, third and fourth. We're going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. So here's your repeat, four single crochets and increase, four single crochets and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 36. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat that four times to have four rounds of just single crochet at the end of four rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 36. we are now going to work four single crochets in a row there's my first one i'm going to put my stitch marker back in place 
second third and my fourth one we're now going to follow this on with a decrease to do this put your crochet in the next stitch pull up a loop do the same with the stitch after pull up a loop three loops on our crochet yarn over pull through all three just like this go ahead and finish this round with four single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 30 stitches we're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row so that's my first second and third and we're going to follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from next two stitches three loops on your crochet yarn over pull through all three in one go just like this finish this round with three single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 24 stitches we're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row so that's my first here's my second we're going to follow this on with a decrease pull a loop up from next two stitches yarn over pull through all three loops in one go just like this finish this whole round as well with two single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease two single crochets and a decrease now as you may notice the gap between the stitches it's decreasing with every single round so be sure to fill this up as you are working on each of these rounds from here on at the end of this round you should have a total of 18 stitches we're now going to start the next round with one single crochet and follow this on with a decrease and we're going to repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 12 stitches we're now going to work a whole round of just decreases so we're going to put our crochet in the next stitch pull up a loop and stitch after that pull up a loop three loops on our crochet yarn over pull through all three and let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to work on this one together because there are only six of these left be sure to push the uh, fiber fill out of the way while you're working these stitches because we don't want the thread or the yarn to get caught into that here's my second decrease third decrease fourth fifth and my last decrease have two stitches left and we're going to work a decrease in there there we go and that's my six decreases worked in let me take the stitch marker off and you can see that there is still a tiny gap left in the center so to cover this up we are going to work one last decrease and then we're going to slip stitch so I'm going to pull up a loop from the next stitch and stitch after that yarn over pull through all three and once you have the tiniest gap left you're going to put your crochet in the opposite stitch to where you finished like this yarn over pull up a loop and make this loop go through your loop that you had on your crochet to complete this and work a slip stitch now from here i'm going to chain one and we are going to go ahead and snip this yarn off keeping a long tail so we can just feed this through with a darning needle from here go ahead and thread your yarn into a darning needle i've already gone ahead and done that and we are going to stick this needle back in the center where we've just finished our work so sticking this needle inside make it go through some fiber fill and let it stick out from another part of the body so this is where it's coming out from i'm going to pull this in gently if this gets pulled in just squeeze this and that should make this perfect and I'm going to go ahead and snip this off from here and there we go so this completes the body and the head of this little bunny we're now going to work on the arms and for this we are going to start again with a slip knot let's go ahead and put our crochet inside this loop and chain two there's my second chain we're now going to start off with the arm and for this you're going to work a slip knot with the same color yarn and we're going to chain two to begin here's my first one and here's my second now to start round one we're going to skip the first chain 
and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Stick your crochet in there, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet. We're going to work six all together. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and here's my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on the end of this yarn to close the gap between your stitches. And we're going to start the next round. To do this, you're going to stick your crochet in the first single crochet of your previous round and work an increase in there, just like this. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And we're going to follow this on with an increase in every single one of these stitches all the way around. That's my third stitch. And the last one here. Two more single crochets in there. This should bring our stitch count to 12. Now from here, we are going to work two rounds of just single crochets. So starting off with a single crochet in my first stitch. I'm going to use a stitch marker from here on. So let's go ahead and put that in place. And I'm going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and repeat it twice. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, our stitch count should still be 12. We're going to now start the next round with a decrease. To do this, you're going to pull up a loop from the next stitch and stitch after that. So we have three loops on our crochet yarn over and pull through all three in one go. That's my first stitch of this round, so let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in place. We're going to follow this on with 10 single crochets all the way around to complete this round. At the end of this round, our stitch count should be 11. We're now going to start the next round with another decrease, so pull up a loop from first stitch and the second stitch over, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. That's my first stitch of this round. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in place and I'm going to complete this round with nine single crochets all together. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 10 and we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch here and let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat that three times to get three rounds of single crochet. At the end of this round, your stitch count should still be 10. We're going to start the next round with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on our crochet. Yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And we're going to complete this round with eight single crochets in a row. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be nine stitches altogether. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And we're going to repeat that five times to get five rounds of just single crochet. At the end of five rounds of single crochet, our stitch count should still be nine. Now, before we do our final round, we are going to go ahead and fill this arm up with some fiber fill. While you're doing that, be sure to only fill this up halfway so the top part can be nice and flat so that it lays flush against the body. I've already gone ahead and done mine, so I'm going to start the next round. It's actually a row. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this up so that the back and the front are joined together, keeping the stitch that you finished with on one side like this. Now from here, I'm going to stick my crochet from the front and make it come out from the back. So if you pull these apart, you will see that you've gone through the front part and the back part of the arm. Yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both in one go. Now that's my first single crochet. I'm going to work four single crochets across the top of this arm. So you go into the next stitch, make it come out from the back like this, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. That's second. Here's my third one and final stitch left. Let's stick your crochet in, making sure it comes out from the back as well. And there we go. So I have four single crochets on the top to finish. 
going to chain one and I'm going to go ahead and snip this yarn off leaving a long tail so we can use this to stitch this on top of the body later on and there we have it this is the complete arm go ahead and follow the same instructions and create one more of these now onto the legs and for this we are going to work a slip knot and put our crochet inside we're going to chain six to begin so that's my first second third fourth fifth and sixth once you've got your six chains you're going to work in an oval all the way around these chains so we're going to be working starting from here and we're going to go all the way around and start working at the bottom of these stitches as well so for round one we're going to skip the first chain and start our work in the second chain to do this you're going to stick your crochet in the second chain from your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through both we're going to work four single crochets in a row so that's my first one here's my second third and fourth now in our last stitch we are going to work three single crochets in the same chain stitch so stick your crochet in there pull up a loop that's my first one back in the same one and working two more this will allow you to turn the corner and start working at the bottom of these stitches once we've done that we're going to work three single crochets in a row and we're going to do that in the next few stitches so Here's my next stitch over, pull up a loop, work single crochet, that's first one, second, and my third one, there we go. Once you've worked your three single crochets in a row, in your last stitch here you're going to work an increase, so two single crochets in the same stitch, that's first, and back into the same stitch, and here's my second. And that completes your oval and that's our first round. To begin round two, we're going to stick our crochet in the first single crochet of our previous round. Pull up a loop from there and work an increase. So that's my first and second stitch there. From here, I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of my each round. Follow this increase with three single crochets in a row. That's my first one second and third and we are going to work an increase in the next three stitches so in each of these three stitches we're going to work two single crochets so that's my first increase second increase and in the third one we're going to again go ahead and work an increase and we're going to follow this on with three single crochets in a row one two and three we should now have two stitches left and we're going to work an increase in each of those so stick your crochet in the next stitch and work two single crochets in the same space that's my first one done and here's my last stitch left and two single crochets in there as well now that's your round two complete at the end of round two i should have a total of 18 stitches so now going to start round three with a single crochet in our first stitch and let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and I'm going to follow this on with an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch there we go follow this on with four single crochets in a row so four a single crochet in next four stitches that's two three and four we're going to have an increase in the next stitch that's one and two and we're going to have three single crochets in the next three stitches so one two and three follow this on with an increase so through two single crochets in that same stitch four single crochets now one two three and four 
and we're going to work and increase in the next stitch so two single crochets in the same stitch here's my first one here's my second you should have two stitches left and we're going to work a single crochet in both of those there we go so that completes our round three you should have a total of 22 stitches now from here I'm going to start the next round with a single crochet in my first stitch let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we are going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to do it twice to have two rounds of single crochet at the end of two rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 22 we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this on with five more single crochets to make the total count to six so that's my second third fourth fifth and here's my sixth one now we're going to follow this on with a decrease and a single crochet and we're going to do that four times so to do this you pull up a loop from first stitch and the next stitch after that so three loops on your crochet yarn over pull through all three in one go that's my first decrease followed on with a single crochet let's go ahead and work three more of those here's my second decrease followed on with a single crochet third decrease followed on with a single crochet and my final one fourth decrease followed on with a single crochet now you should have four stitches left and we're going to work four single crochets in a row first one second third and here's my final one number four and there we go that completes this round and it should bring our total count to 18 stitches we're now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row so that's my first one I'm going to put my stitch marker back in place second third fourth and fifth and we're going to follow this on with four decreases in a row so pull up a loop from two stitches like this yarn over and pull through all three loops on your crochet that's my first decrease here's my second decrease third decrease and one more fourth decrease right here now I should have five stitches left and we're going to work five single crochets in a row that's one two three four and five this brings us to the end of this round and starting the next round with four single crochets now so that's my first second third and fourth let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place one two three four we're going to follow this on with three decreases in a row so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your crochet yarn over and pull through all three in one go that's my first decrease we're going to work two more that's my second decrease one more now and here's my third decrease we should have four stitches left now so we're going to work a single crochet in all four of those second third and fourth one now at the end of this round you should have a total of 11 stitches let's take our stitch marker off and start the next round with a single crochet put your stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow the single crochet with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat that seven times to have seven rounds of just single crochet at the end of seven rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 11 now in this round we are going to 
work two single crochets there's my first one and here's my second one we are doing this so we are in the center of this leg so that we can work across the top now but before we do that we are now going to take a moment and fill this leg up with some fiber fill and make sure when you are doing this you are adding enough to retain the shape of the boot and the leg so go ahead and do that and meet me back here once you filled up the leg with some fiber fill we are going to make sure that the stitch we finished with is on one side and fold the top like this so this brings the back and the front of this leg close together now from here you're going to work five single crochets across the top to do this you're going to put your crochet in the next stitch and make sure that it goes through the back as well so if i pull them apart you should be able to see it goes from the front and the back in one go pull up a loop yarn over pull through both that's my first single crochet here I'm going to work five all together here's my second third fourth and there's my last stitch i'm going to put through pull up a loop through there and there's my fifth stitch done as well chain one and now i can go ahead and snip this yarn off keeping a long tail so we can stitch this onto the leg later on onto the body later on rather pull this down and this completes the leg go ahead and make one more of these and make sure when you're filling up with some fiber fill that they are exactly the same firmness so go ahead and make one more and meet me back here now on to the ears and for this let's go ahead and work a slip knot and we're going to slip our crochet inside and chain two to begin now to start round one we're going to work six single crochets in the second chain from our hook so missing this one slipping a crochet in the second one pull up a loop yarn over pull through both that's my first single crochet we're going to work six of them all together in there here's my second third fourth fifth and last one sixth now from here you can pull on this end to close the gap between the stitches and let's start round two for round two you're going to slip your crochet in the first single crochet of your previous round and we're going to pull up a loop from there that's my first single crochet from here I'm going to start using a stitch marker there we go and we are now going to work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around so in total there should be six of them here's my second third fourth fifth and my final number six Once you have your six single crochets, we are going to start the next round with an increase in the first stitch. So two single crochets in the same stitch. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we are going to work an increase in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And my last stitch here there we go now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat it twice to have two rounds of just single crochet at the end of two rounds of single crochet our stitch count should still be 12. we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet and we're going to follow this on with an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back on 
and we're going to repeat this on all the way to complete this round so single crochet and increase single crochet and increase at the end of this round you should have a total of 18 stitches we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and let's place the stitch marker back in place we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat it twice to have two rounds of single crochet at the end of this round stitch count should still be 18 and we're going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row that's two three and four and we're going to follow this on with a decrease to do this you're going to put your crochet in the next stitch pull up a loop stitch after that pull up a loop three loops on our crochet yarn over and pull through all three now just like this we are going to repeat this twice more so have four single crochets and a decrease four single crochets and a decrease at the end of this round you should have a total of 15 stitches we're now going to have one round of just single crochet so we're going to have 15 single crochets all together at the end of this round stitch count is still 15 and we're going to start the next round to do this you're going to have three single crochets in a row and we're going to follow this on with a decrease again to do this you're going to pull up a loop from first stitch and then the next stitch over three loops on your crochet yarn over and pull through all three you should be able to fit three of these all together so three single crochets followed by a decrease three single crochets and a decrease at the end of this round you should have a total of 12 stitches we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet and let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow the single crochet with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat this six times to have six rounds of just single crochet at the end of six rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 12. we're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row Follows on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from next two stitches and yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And we should be able to fit three of these all together. So let's go ahead and work on this together. So that's one single crochet, one single crochet, followed on with a decrease. And let's do this one last time. One single crochet, one single crochet, followed on with a decrease there we go we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and i'm going to follow this single crochet with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to do that twice to have two rounds of just single crochet at the end of two rounds of single crochet our stitch count is still nine and we're going to work a single crochet to start the next round we're going to follow this on with a decrease like this and we're going to fit two more of those in a single crochet followed on with a decrease a single crochet and a decrease in the last two stitches here there we go now what we're going to do is we're going to lay this ear flat and fold the top so that the back and the front are joined together now we're going to insert our crochet hook in the next stitch like this and make it come out from the back so it's going through the front and the back of the ear so folding the top flat stick your crochet in from the front make it come out from the back yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through both that's my first single crochet and we're going to work three single crochets on the top right across so that's my second and final one is right here Here's my third. I'm going to chain one and let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail so we can stitch this onto the head later on. Pull this down and that completes your ear. Now you can go ahead, follow the same instructions and make one more of these. We're now going to work on the assembly for this little bunny and we're going to start off by taking care of these eyelashes. So let's go ahead and use a darning needle and thread one of the ends in and now we are going to take care of this eyelash so to do this you're going to put your darning needle into 
this stitch over here. So one stitch over, and we're going to stick that in, isolating that stitch, make the needle come out from the other side, like this. And that creates your eyelash. We now need to secure this thread in. And to do this, you are going to stick this needle back into that same stitch. And we're going to try to secure this into the wadding. So make it go through your fiber fill and come out again. We're going to create a loop like this and make the needle go through this loop. Pull this down and that should secure this in place. If we pull it nice and tight, that should disappear inside as well. So now I'm going to put my needle back into that very same stitch, go through some more fiber fill and make this come out from another side of this head. There we go, and it's out. I'm going to pull this out through here. Now I can go ahead and snip this off. And there we have it, the eyelash is complete. So just like this, we're going to go ahead and stitch all the rest of these in as well. Once you finish with the eyelashes, we're going to attach the ears on. And for this, go ahead and thread the tail that we left off from our ear into a darning needle and we're now going to position this in place. So to do this, I'm going to turn the head over on the side. Let's make it stand up so we can see the top part of this. Now we're going to attach this around the third round. So there's my first round, here's my second round, and here's the third one. So I'm going to put this needle in just after the third round. So when you are attaching the ear, I always tend to have the stitch that I've finished with towards the back like this. So eyes are here. So the stitch that I'm finished with is going to be on this side. Let me just adjust my hand position. There we go. Now I can see my stitches better. So round one, two and three, we're going to skip that and we're going to stitch this between round three and four. So this space in between. To start off, I'm going to just secure one end in just by pulling this in and making it go through the same stitch one more time to really secure it in place. Now we're going to go through once through the head, one stitch at a time through the head and then once through the ears. Once through the head and once through the ears. through the head again and then final stitch here so I'm going to go through the ears and I'm going to do this twice to secure this end very well as well back into that same stitch coming out from the same space again and there we go and that joins our ear on our head now to secure this thread in place you're going to put this needle back into that same stitch and make it come out from the bottom of the ear like this. Now, make the needle go through one of the stitches, around the stitch, and create a loop, and make your needle go through this loop. We're now going to pull this down. That creates a knot in place. We're going to put the needle back into that same stitch and make it come out from another side of the head like this. Going to pull this out from there and that secures everything in place and it's neat perfect finish now i can go ahead and i'm going to snip this off and there we have it that ear is attached perfectly now go ahead and do the same thing over here so making sure that you are attaching this between round three and four so that's one two three so the next ear is going to go in between this space right here so go ahead and do that and meet me back here once you finish with the ears, we are going to stitch the arms on and to do this, you're going to go ahead and use a darning needle and thread the leftover yarn that we had from the arm. We're going to move the ears out of the way and turn the bunny on one side like this. Now we need to position the arms in the right place. To do this, you're going to first of all make sure that the arm is in line with the ear. So just from the front, so I'm going to just trace it down. And that's where I'm going to make sure that my front of the arm finishes, right here. Keeping it in place, we are going to stitch this 
in the round just below the neck. So to do this, just like the ears, I'm going to turn this upside down so I have a better grip of it. I'm going to identify which round it's going in and then from there you're going to secure just one end in first. Like this. I'm going to go through the same stitch twice to have a stronger connection at the front and the back and the middle parts can just be with one stitch. So I go once around the stitch on the body and once through the stitches on the arm. Once through the stitches on the body, once through the stitches on the arm. Each time making sure that you are sticking to the same round. So it needs to be in the same round. We don't want to start on one and then just dip down. Once through the stitches on the body and through the arm. And now I'm going to turn it the right way around and we're going to secure this end in as well. So the last stitch, make it go through the stitch on the body and the stitch on the arm like this. And once it's nice and secure, I'm going to just go into the same stitch one more time to create a stronger bond in the last stitch here as well. Now to secure this in place, we're going back into the same stitch and making it come out from the bottom of the arm. So lift the arm up make this come out from the bottom and now that completes the arm but we are going to just secure it in place now to do this you're going to make your needle go through the stitches at the bottom of the arm let's go through this one just like this and we're going to create a loop once you have this loop you're going to put your needle through this and we're going to pull this loop down which is going to create a knot in place and that secures your thread in place as well. So take your needle, put it back into that same stitch, make the needle go through some fibre fill and make it come out from another side of the body. It can be anywhere, it doesn't make any difference. Once it's out, I can go ahead and snip it now. There we go. And just like this, you are going to follow the same steps. Let's get rid of this fluff. Follow the same steps and attach the other arm on as well. Once you finish with the arms, we're going to attach this bunny's legs and we're going to do this in round five. So this is going to be round five from the bottom. So to do this, you're going to turn this upside down and let's count the rounds together. So that's my first round, second, third, fourth, and here's my fifth round. I'm going to put a pin in there just to identify that round so I don't miss that. And while we have that pin already in place, Move the arms out of the way and we're going to make sure that the leg that we're attaching is in line with the arm above. So I've just traced it down from here all the way down and we know this is the round we are going in because there's a pin there already. So keeping hold of that, I'm just going to secure this down in one stitch so I know exactly where I need to attach this. There we go. This is where it needs to be and it's in line with the arm above and it's in round five. Now I can go ahead and take the pin out and let's turn this upside down to get a better grip. And I'm going to go through that same stitch and same stitch on the leg as well one more time. There we go. And once you've done that, you're going to just go all the way across one stitch at a time, once through the leg once through the body and make your way across once through the body once through the leg through the body through the leg and we're just going to keep working on that a stitch at a time making sure you are sticking to the same round we don't want to start on one round and make the rest of the leg attached to the other round. So there we go. Once this is attached all the way across, we are going to turn this over. And I'm going to go through the same stitch one more time on the body and the leg. Just to really secure that in place. And 
once you're happy with that now my join is perfect i feel and once you're happy with that you're going to stick this needle back into that corner of this leg and turn this upside down make this come out from the bottom of this leg like this pull this through we're going to create a knot so to do this you're going to stick your needle and oh, let's take, get rid of this fluff put your needle around a stitch like this and we're going to be creating a loop with the yarn and make your needle go through that loop and when you pull this down this should create a knot in place and when you pull it further this is so little that it doesn't even show now i'm going to put my needle back into that same stitch and make my needle go through some fiber fill and make it come out from another side of the body it can be anywhere really and once it's out that's the finished product as you can see it's nice and clean finish right there and we can just go ahead and snip this off from here and that attaches the leg on as well so go ahead follow the same instructions and join the other leg as well we're now going to create a tail for this bunny rabbit and to do this i'm going to be using puff stitch now let's go ahead and attach this yarn back onto this bunny so to do this we've finished the legs in round five i'm going to go two rounds above so skipping this round and this round I'm going to put my crochet from one side and come out from another isolating one stitch i'm going to put this yarn through and pull it across from the other side there we go now we're going to attach this on by giving this a little knot in place go back into that same very stitch and we're going to pull the working end in and chain one now i'm going to pull this loop that i currently have on my crochet nice and long this will represent the size of the tail that you're after I want it to be about an inch and that's what this size is I'm going to yarn over my crochet go back into that chain one stitch which is just below and yarn over pull up a loop again keep stretching these loops so that they are exactly the same size yarn over again back into that same chain one stitch again yarn over pull up a loop stretch yarn over back into that same chain one stitch and pull up a loop one more time and we're going to do this one last time yarn over back into that same chain one stitch and pull up a loop and there we go now once you have gone through this quite a few times let's see how many uh, loops we have so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine nine loops on our crochet we're going to yarn over keep hold of this side so i'm just going to put my finger here and hold on to this bit of yarn pull this through all of the loops in one go now i'm going to slip my crochet in this space here and pull up a loop from there this will give you two loops on your crochet yarn over and pull through both loops in one go now what we're going to do is we're going to conceal this bit of thread inside like this and fold this down and we're going to go one stitch under and stick your crochet in again isolating that stitch like we did before pull this yarn in and work a slip stitch so make it make this loop go through your loop on your crochet that you had earlier i have to turn this upside down there we go and once we finish with that we are going to pull this out and i can go ahead and snip this yarn off and i pull this out of the stitch and i'm going to pull this down so that the stitch is nice and closed and that creates our little puff stitch tail we are now going to use a darning needle to secure this end in and make sure that the stitch is this uh, tail is nice and secure as well to do this go ahead and thread your darning needle with this bit of yarn and i'm going to go back into that same stitch and secure this bit in now go through this puff stitch and the stitches on the bottom 
of this bunny and let's secure that down as well a little bit to make the link a little bit more stronger once more going through the these loops secure it down and we're going to go through the stitches on the bottom one more time there we go nice and secure and I'm going to now create a loop with my yarn put this through the loop and pull this down to create a knot and now I'm going to put this inside the same stitch go through some fiber fill make this come out from another side of the body pull this up and I can now go ahead and snip this off as well and there you have it this is the little tail for this bunny rabbit once you finish with the legs we are going to add the final detail to this bunny which is a little nose for this bunny now for this I have already gone ahead and threaded my darning needle with pink double knit yarn uh, of color of your choice I'm using this light baby pink color and go ahead and knot the end of this yarn now to make a little nose for this bunny we are going to create a triangle shape on the face with a little line following downwards let's zoom in a little bit for you there we go okay so to do this you are going to take your needle stick this in where you want the nose to finish so i just want a tiny little nose and that's where i want it to be pointing towards and i'm going to take this and push this out of two rounds above so right around here we're going to now take this out and to secure this knot in i'm going to put my needle through this yarn itself like this and now i'm going to just guide this in once it's stuck in i'm going to pull the rest of the yarn out so that it's actually sitting down flat across the face like this now this secures the knot in place because we're using this plush um yarn it's very easy for the knot to come out so by doing this you ensure that this is actually staying in place now taking your yarn and needle go back into that same stitch come out from the same stitch again like this back into that same stitch but this time we're coming out uh, ever so slightly over so one stitch over And this time we need to make sure that this thread is sitting besides the one that we had there already. Not overlapping it, but sitting beside it like this. From here, going to go at the top, make your needle come out from the bottom. And one by one, we are going to create bits of this nose each time, making sure that it sits beside the bits of yarn from previous attempts instead of overlapping And there we go. Once you finish with the triangular shape, you are going to stick your needle back at the base of all of these bits of yarn in one go, like this. And put this back into this loop that we've created with the yarn. And create a little knot. By doing this, you really make the nose nice and pointy and it becomes a really good finish at the bottom as well so once you've done this you're going to stick this needle two rounds below so leave one two and stick this in over here this will create a little line which will represent the mouth of this little bunny so I'm making it come out from where we finished the other part of the nose like this now I'm going to create this knot one more time 
with a needle through the base of these stitches put your needle through this loop you've created and pull this down tight like this and this finishes off your bunny's mouth and I'm going to put the needle back into this center and we're going to go through some fiber fill and make the needle come out from another side of the face and there we go I can now go ahead and snip this off and that finishes off the nose of this little bunny here is our finished product now if you would like to add any embellishments uh, then go right ahead uh, otherwise this brings us to the end of our little bunny rabbit there we go that's what it looks like if you enjoyed making this bunny rabbit with me be sure to give this video a thumbs up and i would love to hear your comments about this tutorial as well so leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe thank you